topic of this video is reducing a rational expression to lowest terms. Let's look at a problem. Simplify the rational expression a minus b over b minus a. <clears throat> Before we even solve this problem, I want to tell you the answer. The answer is negative 1. Whenever you see two things being subtracted up top and the same two things being subtracted down below but in a different order, those two factors can be canceled to the number negative 1. Let's talk about why that might be true. Let's imagine that a is 3 and b is 2. So we would have 3 minus 2. What's 3 minus 2? Well, that's an easy question. That's 1. But when you reverse the order, what's 2 minus 3? Well, hopefully you said negative 1. So when we express this as a ratio, 3 minus 2 divided by 2 minus 3, that's going to be 1 divided by negative 1, which gives the result negative 1. This will always be true for any pair of real numbers that we pick, as long as the real numbers are different. So for example, let's say we had negative 2 minus negative 5 over negative 5 minus negative 2. What would happen here? Well, subtracting a negative is the same as adding, so we'd have negative 2 plus 5 over negative 5 plus 2, 3 over negative 3, which again gives us negative 1. All right, so now that we know that we're going to get the answer negative 1, how do we use algebra to prove it? And the answer is by factoring. We're going to leave the a minus b alone, but we're going to factor a negative 1 out of this b minus a. Let me show you what I mean. So to factor something out, you just have to imagine that you are dividing it. So if you were to divide this by negative 1 and divide this by negative 1, then you put a negative 1 in front of the result so that they remain equal b divided by negative 1 is negative b, and a negative a divided by negative 1 is a positive a. Now, these are in the wrong order, so we can swap them. Remember, when a term changes order, it keeps the sign that it has. This a is positive, so when it moves to the front, it stays positive, and when this b moves to the back, it stays negative. So, what we've learned is that b minus a is the same as negative 1 times a minus b. And with that, we can make a substitution. So this will be a minus b over negative 1 times a minus b. Now the a minus b's cancel because they are both factors. When they cancel, they cancel to 1. And so we get 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. So a minus b over b minus a can be reduced to negative 1. This very useful tool, this useful trick will show up many, many times in algebra. So it's good that you know it, understand it, and remember it.